Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of rational equations, a b divided by a plus b equals to 1. The second equation is b c divided by b plus c equals to 2. And the third equation is c a divided by c plus a equals to 3. In other words, we are going to find the values of A, B, and C. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. As you can see that we are dealing with these fractions. So let's go ahead and make the right hand side fractions as well. I can write this one as one divided by one, two as 2 divided by 1 and finally 3 divided by 1 and in this next step let's go ahead and flip all these rational equations in other words we are going to write in terms of uh, reciprocal form so this very first equation could be written as uh, a plus b divided by a b equals to 1 divided by 1 and likewise we are going to flip this second equation as well and finally this third equation and now in this next step let's go ahead and write down this fraction as uh, individual fractions as a divided by a b plus b divided by a b equals to 1 over 1 is same as 1 and now we can see that this a and a cancel each other out likewise this b and b is gone so we ended up with simply 1 over b plus 1 over a equals to 1 and now let's focus on this next equation as well so this could be written as b divided by b c plus c divided by b c equals to 1 divided by 2 and now we can see that this b and b is gone likewise this c and c is gone so we ended up with 1 divided by c plus 1 divided by b turns out to be equal to 1 over 2 and finally let's focus on this third equation and here we can see that this C and C cross each other out. A and A is gone. So we ended up with 1 divided by A plus 1 divided by C turns out to be equal to 1 divided by 3. And now in this next step, let's make things simple. Let me go ahead and call. Let's say that X equals to 1 over A y equals to 1 over b and finally z equal to 1 divided by c so after substitutions our equations are going to become y plus uh, x equals to 1 and this next equation is going to become and finally this equation is going to become now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 1 this as an equation number two and this as an equation number three and now in this next step we are going to add all these equations up let's go ahead and write down y plus x plus z plus y plus x plus z and let's go ahead and add the right hand sides as well one plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. Let's add the like terms on the left hand side. So that's going to give us 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals 2. Now if we add the right hand side these numbers we can see over here that they add up to 11 divided by 6. So therefore I'm going to write down 11 divided by 6. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 over 2 and here 1 over 2 as well. This 2 and 1 over 2 is gone. So we simply got our x plus y plus 
z equal to over here if we multiply these fractions we're gonna get 11 divided by 12 so let me go ahead and call this our equation number four and here we got all our these four equations and now we can see in this equation four x plus y equals to one from this equation one therefore our equation four could be written as one plus z equals to 11 divided by 12. let's go ahead and move this one on the other side so z is going to be equal to 11 divided by 12 minus 1. So if we simplify the right hand side we are going to get negative 1 over 12 so therefore z value turns out to be negative 1 divided by 12 and now let's repeat the process for this equation 2 we know that this y plus z equals to 1 divided by 2 so therefore we can write x plus 1 divided by 2 equals to 11 divided by 12 now let's go ahead and move this 1 over 2 on the other side so we got x equal to 11 divided by 12 minus 1 over 2 now we can see the right hand side has been simplified to 5 over 12 so therefore x value turns out to be 5 divided by 12 and finally we know that this x plus z equal to 1 over 3 from this equation 3 so therefore our this equation 4 could be written as 1 divided by 3 plus y equals to 11 divided by 12 let's move this one third on the right hand side so y is going to be equal to 11 divided by 12 minus one third we can see our this right hand side has been simplified to 7 divided by 12 so therefore y value turns out to be 7 divided by 12 and here's our final step we know our x value is 5 divided by 12 and x is equal to 1 over a so let's go ahead and compare these two equations so we can write them as 5 divided by 12 equals to 1 over a let's flip them over so this is going to become 12 divided by 5 equals to a divided by 1 so thus our a value turns out to be a 12 divided by 5 and now in this next step we know y equals to 7 divided by 12 and y equals to 1 over b so let's go ahead and compare these two equations we can write 7 divided by 12 equals to 1 over b let's go ahead and flip them over so 12 divided by 7 is going to become b divided by 1 thus our b value turns out to be 12 divided by 7 and finally our z value is negative 1 over 12 and z is equal to 1 over c now let's go ahead and compare these two equations now and here i have equated them and i flip them over and our c value turns out to be negative 12 and thus here's our complete solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye